Hey fellow Volvers, it's Angry Tartu coming back with yet another video and today I want to show you how to deal with encrypted event and how to kill Imposter Ship Squad solo without any help. To do so successfully we need to know three things. We need to know our enemy, Imposter Ship Squad himself, we need to have a plan and we need to prepare. Then about Imposter Ship Squad, what you need to know Apart from the fact that you need to grab three pylons and those are draining your health, Imposter himself has a very high, da high damage and more important than his damage is his armor penetration. He's basically penetrates your armor entirely and you need to keep it in mind. Stacking your armor will not help with against him. What are the options? It's either going for troubleshooter armor or you go for power armor you can use reactive plates to reduce his melee damage as it... and now how to prepare to fight against him we need to hunt and kill a lot of scorch beast and take all the meat from them to do that you will need butcher's bounty in perception you need at least three perception to equip this perk it will greatly increase the speed you will obtain in scorch beast meat now let's hunt some of those Scorch Beasts. It doesn't really matter what kind of build you are using, if you are a Stealth Commando or melee on Power Armor Heavy Gunner. After killing some of those Gun Zombies, Scorch Beast is supposed to land. If for some reason Scorch Beast will not land for a long period of time, you just carry on go to another Fissure. With fireproof equipped, her sonic scream is totally harmless, you don't need to be worried about that. In the same time, when exploring those fissures, you can look around sometimes. There is some loot from animals that are dead around the fissures. And she's landing, just like that. And bang. Press spacebar to use your perk and find some extra Scorch Beast meat. Don't forget to use spacebar on the corpse. Oh, like in here we have two dead Yaogwai. We'll take acid, meat and loose spring. This meat is very useful as you can cook it and you have more melee damage if you are a melee build. Oh by the way guys, when I was farming Scotch Beast, look what a friendly super mutant freestyle dropped for me. Junk is railway rifle with bullets explode for area damage and 25% let's vats action point cost. That is insane roll. Just while farming the Scorch Beast random super mutant came to me and dropped this for me. Oh, that's a good day. Let's continue. After you finish farming, Remember to swap your perk for super duper and cook all this meat, as it's very important. Super duper can give you some extra healing meat. Let's just cook it. All the meat. All the brains. All the livers. The close steaks that we wrap around the fissures. Glowing meat steaks. Scorby's heart and all the steaks from Scorch Beast meat, Scorch Beast lung and Yaogwai ribs for more damage. 
Now let's take a look how much I have farmed. 14 stakes, 1 heart, 7 lungs, 3 livers, 6 brains. Whatever I have in the highest quantity, I will set up as my healing items on my quick slots 1 and 2. Scorpion stakes and two I have I have a lot of brains if I'm not mistaken. Brains, maybe lungs as well. Just in case if this will not be enough, but I hope it will be enough. Okay, then whiskey for some extra damage and we need psychotats as psychotats are reducing damage that we are receiving. What's very important. Now what you need to keep in mind, it is very good if you have carnivore mutation, because this mutation will double the healing from meat. And with this mutation, all Scorch Beast meat heal by 400 HP. And why we are using Scorch Beast food instead of steam packs, there is one very important reason. You can easily stack it, take multiple Scorch Beast food at once, like if I will eat five broad scorbis brains this healing will be 2000 then i will have 2000 heal and one other very important thing it's released over a longer period of time than a steam pack scorbis steak brain liver everything works over 25 seconds what will allow me to fight the imposter much longer without taking care of eating more food or taking more stims and that is very important to allow you to fight much more easily next i want to make this guide as accessible as possible and because of that i'm using power armor full set of troubleshooter is much better option but i will be using power armor and melee weapon because it's the most accessible and I intentionally want to use War Drum because it's not the best weapon in the game damage wise and therefore you will see that you don't need the best weapon in the game like a God Roll in order to do it. Power Armor itself, one very important mod, it's reactive plates to deal with melee attacks of Imposter Ship Squatch. Next, perks. You can use whatever build you like, but some things are very important. You want something that reduces damage that you are taking, like Lone Wanderer. Or if you have more charisma, Suppressor is perfect perk to add to that. In strength, you need to have blocker. Even if you are not a strength build, you will need a free strength to use a blocker to be successful. Unless you have a very good stealth build and you are able to deal with imposter without getting detected. What's well, not easy? Super duper will not be needed. We we'll obviously use bloody mess. Now, it's not recommended to go like that. Full bloody build will not work. It's too easy to die. And... I will just use some right away. And remember, before we will engage and start the event, use some of your boost from food. It's good to be prepared rather than during the fight keep looking what you're supposed to consume. After that, just go and activate the event. You need to use your keycard. That's the most expensive part. Imposter is coming. There is no reason to get out too early. And one more thing I want to do is additional safety measure. Choke in board survival. If my health will drop too much, I have it as a backup. But normally I will be using all those Scorch Beast food that I collected. It's important to have it on hot buttons 
This way you do not waste time looking for it. Same with whiskey and psychotats. Yeah, fireproof is important important in this phase as well because as you see those eyebots are just going suicide mission on you. Okay, now it's time. It's good to kill some robots from time to time to get adrenaline running. And then you go pylon after pylon, all three must be active. Remember to consume some Scorchby's food frequently and couple during the fight. And now buffs and more food. Yeah, it's possible to die, I should probably eat more. Oh, those robots are, are hitting quite hard as well. Will be better to kill some of them. We'll eat a couple steaks this time around. Better to eat more than not enough. To keep the healing going. The important part is just keep eating. This way you have this constant heal. I don't know how much I ate of this scorpion steak, I'm just pressing it from time to time, couple times. I don't have my AP where it is. Oh no. Death ray in the face. But he's almost dead. Then I think I'm doing quite well as for power armor build. Do I still have food? Yeah, I still have couple. That's fine. Oh no. Don't get me stuck. Okay. One more pylon. Some food. And imposter is dead. Quite simple. If you have a troubleshooter set of regular armor, you will most likely not die once. But unfortunately, power armor. Reactive plates will help you with melee attacks, but death ray in the face, it's quite deadly. Since they fix armor penetration with energy weapons, it benefits imposter as well. His death ray is penetrating your armor now. In the past, high energy resist and you were fine. Now, it's not working anymore. Let me clear some of those robots for free steel and lead and that's the secret how to deal with imposter ship squatch just go prepared take a lot of food i ate like most of that i have couple steaks left but it's not a big deal because you have multiple fissures and even if if you want you can keep going in a circle just going this one this one over there you have three another one there's cluster of three another fissure sites after you finish with all of those, you can go back and start over. If you do like two circles, you are perfectly fine. You have so much meat that you can keep eating it and fighting imposter and 
as you saw, my health was regenerating so fast that he wasn't able to kill me unless he just fired his death ray in my face and I didn't have enough healing at this point to survive it. But if you will go with Troubleshooter armor set, you will be fine even versus his death ray if you eat couple steaks. Did get a fedora then, nothing good from, from this event this time around. That's again the build I used to fight the imposter. It will be easier if I will have like a room for suppressor under charisma, it will reduce his damage greatly. Like 30% rank 3, rank 3 suppressor will reduce his damage by 30%. But even without that end, if you notice I'm just using uh, slugger, master slugger, uh, just level rank 1 perks and I'm still doing quite well, then you don't even need to fully go for maximum damage. I have only one level, one rank of Adrenaline, Slugger, Master Slugger, all those perks only rank 1. This way I have room for Incisor to help with some armor penetration and to carry more meds with Traveling Pharmacy. Under Endurance, any pack that boosting your HP is good to fight Imposter Ship Squad. Then I have Life Giver and Rejuvenated Aqua Boy because I had nothing else to toss in and Fireproof just rank 1 because it's enough to deal with the Scorch Beast if you're wearing Power Armor. It's no problem with that. Have First Aid to get my backup Steam Pack slightly stronger when Born Survivor is triggering it. I died twice. But it's not a big deal. Normally people are dying constantly on this event and I was doing it solo. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope it helps some of you. If you have any questions, go down to the comments below. I will try to answer to any question you can have. And see you guys in the next one.